six women. Get it again! Get it again! One goal. Extreme Huntress. Extreme Huntress is brought to you by these proud sponsors. Well, um, if you're going to be an extreme huntress, <laughs> you got to take a bite. You, no, not take a bite. You got to chew and swallow it. I was told two chews and a swallow. Way smaller than this guy. Cheers, cheers girls. Are you first. doing it? I haven't decided are you, but yet. I need to I'm know if you're going to do it. You have to cheers. Oh, God. <laughs> One, two. Are you no, doing it? The whole thing in your mouth. No, don't do it, little bite. Are you two. doing it? Yep. The judge eats it and y'all don't, what if I you lose five one? points. You get nothing. Okay. So you're not gonna do it? No, I will do it. It's just the same size. Oh, that's good. Well, do it? Okay. This actually has a little bit of like pecan taste to it. Oh. I can't. It definitely will nutty. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> no way. There's no way. I, I couldn't do it. Are you a woman who hunts? Or maybe you'd like to learn more about hunting and shooting? Go to ExtremeHuntress.com to find out about the Extreme Huntress workshops in 2018 at the legendary Wyo Ranch headquarters. I've been hunting with Jamie this afternoon. One of the hardest animals to hunt anywhere is the axe steer. She's after a management doe. So this evening we were in search of a axis doe for my management hunt and we initially started out on one end of the property where I knew that it was kind of brushy and then it opened up into a field so I took the cameraman and kept everyone else back because I didn't want it to be too awfully loud. So we snuck down there and there wasn't anything in the field so we came back up and decided to just drive around until we ran into um, the axis herd. And we're driving around, and we get kind of getting back to camp. We have about five minutes left, and we see a axis doe in like the corral. The fence posts were falling off; they're very overgrown. There was probably snakes everywhere. And we came up, and I was on the broken down fence post where I could have a shot. At that point is when she had uh, she racked the shell, and at that point when she did rack the shell, that's when the doe caught on and she spooked. So, I mean, there, there slipped a 50-yard chip shot, essentially. So then we snuck around on the other side of this old, old, almost rotted down schoolhouse looking shed where we found six does and one buck, I believe. I liked how she approached the fields. Could have been a little more cautious, but she, she was cognizant of her surroundings. The one that I got my sights up on was standing there and at one point there was another smaller doe behind her so I didn't have a shot. It was a lot of luck. This was a really lucky hunt and we just happened to be at the right place at the right time because honestly, axis deer want to be out when it's dark and we happened to catch them on the edge of that. I took my safety off, pulled the trigger, she dropped and I reloaded and I kept my scope on her. I, I got a question her form, her shooting form. Her, her, left, her left arm was not up on the rifle. Flat, either missed or shot poorly in the back. And then I had to finish her off one more with a final third shot. Okay, okay. And head is down. Luck helps a lot, but I do believe that this girl has skill. She's demonstrated that tonight. I think that um, she needs to work on her shooting skills, but it's ten it, this is intense. You've got cameramen, you've got judges, you've got secondary hunters and a uh, representative from, the, from YO. It's too many people in the field. It's very intense, and she did well. On the next episode of Extreme Huntress, Serena Thompson and Jamie McCarthy tag team the legendary YO Ranch headquarters in South Texas Hill Country. Vote for your favorite at ExtremeHuntress.com. Extreme Huntress is brought to you by these proud sponsors.